Welcome back, Pioneers. We hope you had an incredible Thanksgiving break. Today is Monday, December 2nd, 2019. It's time for News in the Morning with your WPKN News Team, starring Luke Ziegenfuss with the Pledge of Allegiance, Andy Miller with the weather, Adana Rodriguez with the school expectations, and Ms. Parker and Ms. Williams with the Pioneer Minutes. I'm Destiny Gowdy. And I'm Kaden Lavery with today's news. But first, let's all sit and join Luke for the Pledge of Allegiance. Luke? Good morning, Pioneers. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Now back to our anchors. Awesome job, Luke. Now let's check in with Bindi in the WPKN Weather Center with a look at today's forecast. Bindi? Good morning, Pioneers. Today's weather will be partly cloudy with a 20% chance of rain. The humidity may be 73%. The wind will be blowing out of the southwest at 8 miles per hour. The high today will be 73 degrees with a low of 56 degrees. Have a great day. Now back to our anchors. Great job, Bendy. For lunch today, our fabulous Romeo Chester have prepared for us a choice of a bean and cheese chalupa or pizza with corn and fresh fruit. Don't forget your choice of milk. Now let's join Adon with our school expectations. Adon. Good morning, Pioneers. Please repeat the school expectations with me. I'll be responsible, I'll be respectful, I'll be safe, and I'll be a leader. Thank you. Now back to our anchors. Great job, Adon. Now it's time for today's Pioneer Minutes with Ms. Parker and Ms. Williams for today's school uh, announcements. Take it away, Ms. Parker and Ms. Williams. Good morning, Pioneers. Good morning, Mrs. Jeter. Good morning, Ms. Parker. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Welcome back, everybody, from your Thanksgiving break. I hope you had a wonderful time. We are so glad to see you back this morning. It was great to see all of your happy, smiling faces, and we have 15 days of wonderful school work ahead of us. We're going to work hard so we can enjoy our winter break. Mrs. Jeter, you have some amazing news for us this morning. I do. A couple of things. First off, um, the board behind me, you see all of them are up here. All the drivers came in today with smiles on their faces, so that's good news. The, everybody on the bus was behaving. I appreciate that. Remember, tomorrow it's going to be really cold, so yes. wear your jackets and make sure that you, uh, you know, grab them off of the bus when you get off the bus tomorrow. Yes, jackets, mittens, scarves, gloves that you have. You really make need sure them, you yeah. put them on there. Absolutely. It's going to be cold. So we have some positive referrals. We do, and I just want to remind everybody, our positive referrals are for our soft skills that we're working on, and oh, the yeah. month of December, we're working on communication. Oh, great. So, communication is not only verbal, but it's also our body language, and it can be writing and listening, all of those things uh, work into communication. So, at our holiday concert on the 12th, we're going to have a table set up where all of our students and our the parents that join us that night can write a little card to a soldier that's um, spending the holidays away from home. So that'll be our communication practice for the for the month of December. And that is a fabulous idea. So bring your family out to the holiday concert. Not only are you going to have a great opportunity to, to hear some holiday music performed by each of our wonderful grade levels, but also we're going to have some fun stuff planned for you that night. One of the things that we are going to have is a festival of trees. Remember at Halloween how we decorated pumpkins? pumpkins. You got to put your bit, bit in there for that. We're going to do the same sort of thing with Christmas trees. Exciting. So it is exciting. I've got my idea already ready. I've got my ornaments in over the break and I cannot mm. wait. It's going to be awesome. Some pretty things. They're going to be yes. pretty. All right. So let's get to our positive referrals. Remember today you can sit at the camp table and bring a friend with you. Make sure you take your card home with you. We have from Miss Ravel's class, Layla Howell. Layla Howell has a positive attitude, work ethic, and dependability. Way to go. Cameron Pompeo from uh, Miss Kidney. Positive attitude and teamwork. Good job. We also have Landon Rodriguez from Miss McLean. Way to go, Landon. A positive attitude in class. Demarius Terrell from Miss Connor's class. Positive attitude, work ethic, 
and dependability. All right. Way to go. We also have Cameron Messenger from Miss Lamb's fourth grade room. All five checked oh, off. Oh, wow. Great job. Cameron, way to be a leader and set that example. I appreciate it. And last but not least is Lila Blanchard from Miss Cedar's class. She has a positive attitude. She does teamwork. And she has a great word ethic. Congratulations to all of our positive referral recipients. I am so proud of you. And thank you, teachers. What a great variety of teachers giving us those positive referrals. Everyone is on board, and we're excited to celebrate you and all the positive things that you are doing. So don't forget about the camp table. It's going to be awesome, as usual. Absolutely. All right. I guess we're ready for our words of wisdom today. Yes, ma'am. One of the first things that you learn when you are very little is about sharing, whether it's sharing with your brother or sister or sharing with friends. So uh, there was a famous Greek philosopher named Pythagoras who had a saying about sharing. It's very simple. It's that friends share all things. As we get older, friendship means more than sharing things like toys and paints. It means sharing the good times and the bad. It means sharing our feelings, our fears, and our dreams. Listen to this Yugoslav proverb. Show me a friend who will weep with me, who will laugh with me, and I can find myself. Sharing our thoughts and feelings with a close friend can actually help us understand ourselves better. Whether that friend is someone your age, or a parent, or a guidance counselor, or a teacher. Today, share one of your fears or one of your dreams with a trusted friend. You might just discover something new about yourself was something to think about on this marvelous Monday. This is Mrs. Parker and Mrs. Jeter. Make it a great day, Pioneers. The choice is yours. <laughs>